Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how you can actually change your domain name in Hostinger. So, there is actually one way or not really a direct way or which, which we can call it a direct way because what we are going to use in this video is something that's called a renewal. So, each website or each domain name has a renewal or expiring date so in our video we will try to use this renewal date to actually try to change our domain name so first of all guys i will need you to go to your browser and then open you the browser that you have and click on your section and search for hostinger now from here guys this is the hostinger website so here you can get your domain name and basically once you buy it you can't really change it well, how are we going to do the thing that we are going to do, which is changing the domain name? That's what I'm going to show you now. So we just log into our account, which is pretty simple. And here we go. Now the each panel of Hostinger will be opened. So here it is my website, mynerva.com. So in order for me to actually change the domain name, I can't really change it from here. It's impossible. So basically what I'm going to do is go to here uh, normally it will be something like that which is auto renewal so make it disabled as you can see here I don't have active payment method now I don't have a, uh, an active payment method I removed it from this website but anyway for you guys all you need to do is disable it as you can see make it disabled as I have here and then go to here help and click on payments and refund here i want to get a refund and basically click here to email them so click here i want a refund for my domain name which is www.xxx.com so this is an example when you finish with that all you need to do is wait until they answers you they send you the money back and then what you have to do is simply just buy a new domain with the name that you want so you can't really change the domain name but what you can do is simply get a refund and buy a new one so hey guys that was it for today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like and thank you guys a lot for watching